Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to get started using the uh, Python editor. That's a Python idle. And we're going to use this editor to, to create a, a simple Hello World program in Python 3. Uh, so let's start off the application. This is in Ubuntu Linux 10.04. So I'm going into my programmings and I'm going to select, let's select idle Python 3.1. Uh, I've got both, I've got two different versions on this machine. Now notice when you open up the uh, application you'll see the Python shell window and this will tell you which version of Python you're currently using. So make sure that you do use the correct version. Uh, for your particular program because some programs will only work on one version either version 3 or version 2. Now to get started to write a, a new program we just select file new window and then you'll see a window an extra window which has got a title untitled. Now the first thing I do is to make sure that it has got a title because I want to save my program, I want to know where I've saved it and uh, so um, as long as you've saved your file you can always get back to it. Uh, let's go to... Uh, let's save as and now I'm on Linux so my home folder is home an so I'm just going to save it there and uh, let's call it program one dot py. Now it's very important that you do not forget dot py. Uh, if you have an extension dot py then your operating system will know that this is a Python program and will handle it accordingly. Right, so I'm now just going to save and now you can see the full path at the top. Now if you're using Windows it, everything works in the same way exactly. You just have to open up your Python program, the idle editor, from the start menu in the bottom left hand corner. Click on applications or programs and then find uh, Python. Right, remember to open up the idle editor when you get started. So here we are, we've, uh, we've, we're now ready to write a program. And let's write our first hello world program. Print Hello. Now notice these little um, hints come up to tell you or to prompt you on what you should be typing next. Now when you first start programming, just ignore these because sometimes they give you a little bit too much information. So I'll ignore that. So I'm going to print hello world and finish off with a finishing bracket. Now a few things I should say here. Print is one of the key, uh, sorry, the print is a function of the Python 3 language. In Python 2 print is actually a key word but that's a different story. Now going back to Python 3 which this is, print is a function and its job is to print. Now all functions in Python have to have these brackets and sometimes the brackets can be empty, in which case, uh, in this case, the print would just print a blank line. But if you put some text between quote marks, now the quote marks could be single quote marks. Here I'm showing double quote marks. You can even use triple single quote marks in Python. Uh, and again, that's a different story. But for now, let's just print the text, hello world. Now. In programming terms, we call text a string. So this is a string, hello world. Strings are always enclosed in quote marks. So when I run this program, it's going to print hello world to the output. And it's actually going to show the output in the Python shell window. So when we run this program, and I'm going to run it using the run menu, and when we do run it, it's going to display the output in the Python shell window. So let's see what happens. I'm going to select run, and I'm going to select run module. Now Python calls its programs modules because uh, generally speaking, when we're writing a, a large program, we, we separate it into smaller parts. 
and each part would be a module. Uh, modules could be made up of other modules or they could be made up of functions but in our case we've got one module and it's uh, very simple it's just got one command print hello world so I'm now going to run my program now here is a very neat thing it tells you you have to have your source code which essentially is your program it has to be saved before we can run and of course we always click on OK for this and there we see the output displayed in the Python shell window now I could close this window this this window I'm using at the moment just for allowing me to see the output of my programs and in other cases I may have a program that has some input as well as some output but in this particular one there's only output and if I close this window down I can always open it again by selecting run run module and the window will open it's a good idea to see the program and its output at the same time so here on the left we've got uh, the python program it's called program1.py and it's in my home folder and notice with python programs the output will always be shown in blue but when you type your program in the colors will tell you different things about whatever you've typed in. Print is a function, and functions are always shown, unless you change the default colors, in purple color. And strings are always shown in green color. Now, if, if for example, we wanted to uh, put in a comment about a program into our program. Now, a comment is something that doesn't affect how the program runs. Uh, a comment, we usually put in comments to say the programmer's name, the date, and so on. So let me put a comment in here. Now I should say that comments start with a hash or a pound symbol. When you, when you type in that hash or pound symbol, uh, you'll see the text turns red. And red is for comments. So there we have a start of a comment, and I can put programmer and person and then we might want to have the date and today is Sunday the 20th of February 2011 oops and sometimes I put the time time now is 10 22 Pacific time and there we go so I should also put while I'm here that if you want to see more resources for Python and other computer science and math topics including videos um, go to this website so it's http colon slash slash www dot and Dawson.net and also for videos you can go to http colon slash slash 84.ca and so this one has videos let's put four videos four videos and for CS and math and now what I've done, now know what's notice what's happened here, I've made an error and everything has changed colour, this is not a good thing so I'm going to go back to the end of my line, press delete to get that back where it should be and then go back to my home and delete this Right, notice how everything is starting in a straight line. Now that's very important in Python. Python spaces mean something to Python, spaces and new lines. So make sure when you're typing in your comments and when you're ty typing in any statements, everything should be in a nice straight line, no space before you get started typing. Okay, so let's run, make sure this is still running. And there it is, typing hello world. 
This is from the last time I ran the program. So notice when you look at the Python shell, you may be seeing output from the program that you ran previously. So quite often I will always close the shell before I run the new window, uh, sorry, the new program again. And here it is, here's my output, and here is my program. So let's finish by saying print and goodbye. So I'm now I've got a new program. I've, well, I've actually changed my program, so it's got a new line here. And at the top there, you can see this little star. Now that means your program has been uh, changed, but it, it has not yet been saved. So if you forget to save your program, when you attempt to run, it's going to ask you to save anyway. So you should always save your program before you run, just in case there's a power outage, or you walk away and you forget what you're doing, you've been distracted. So here we go. And there is our program running. So let's close that, and I'll say goodbye.